Hey guys, it's good to have you back here on my channel. So today's tutorial is inspired by one of the bridal looks that I created a couple of weeks ago. You guys fell in love with the old Hollywood wavy look. I decided to make a whole tutorial just for that look. So I'm gonna talk about the tools that I'm using, the products, um, how to create the wavy look and making sure that it lasts all day. So if you're interested and you wanna know all of this, please keep on watching. So the first thing that I did, I brushed my hair to make sure that it's tangle free and I, this is by the way my blow dried hair. I washed my hair yesterday and this is my blow dried hair. Um, so with a blow dryer and the brush, you know, what I always do. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I already put some products in it because I blow dried it yesterday. Um, so for today's look, I'm gonna use some oils because it's a little bit dry and it needs some protection. So the oil that I'm using for this look is a healing oil. So it's kind of nutrition oil. You can use it in wet hair or the dry hair. The, I didn't use this yesterday, so I'm gonna include this in today's tutorial. I'm gonna take a couple of drops. This is more than enough for the entire hair. And it's, um, you know, what I love about the product is that it doesn't only purpose for making the hair looking beautiful. I love when the product actually does something to the hair. So I'm making sure that the product is evenly spread throughout my hair. It all depends on the amount you're using um, because this oil also makes the hair a little bit stronger. So I definitely would recommend it to you girls, the girls with fine hair is just just use a small, 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 really small amount. You know, the hair will soak up everything. You don't have to use too much product in it. So just be careful and try to stay away from the roots um, because they will get greasy very easily. And it all also depends on the type of hair you have. My hair is so dry, it soaks up everything I put in it. So um, in a couple of hours, I can probably put another, you know, small amount of oil in it because it dries up so easily. Okay, so the product is all over my hair and now I'm gonna section the hair off. I'm, gonna, I'm going for the side part because I, I'm still having those short bangs and I don't think they look really beautiful um, if I put them, if I take, if I go for the middle part. So I'm trying to hide them with the rest of the hair. That's why I'm going for the side part, but you can definitely do whatever that suits you. So because I'm going for the really natural, soft, wavy look, I'm not gonna work with small hair sections. I'm going for the big, loose, wavy look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm sectioning the top part off. And I split it in half. So I have evenly, I have the same amount of hair here as I'm having here so it's split in half if you would go for um, the middle part and you have more hair than me then you might need three sections um, but I'm taking bigger um, hair sections instead of really small ones because I think when you take smaller hair section it's gonna look more of a curly look and I'm really going for the wavy soft look but remember if you have really thin hair or if you have really um, fine hair you need to work with smaller hair section because the really loose wave might not hold up the entire day so this is something you you should know if you have really fine hair it all depends on the amount of hair you have so I'm gonna take a big hair section this is the hair section that I'm grabbing and this is the curling iron that I'm using today um, now, unfortunately, they don't put the size of the barrel on it, so I cannot tell you what size is it, it is. So this is the first hair section. And one thing you guys need to remember, and this is really important, if you're going for a bigger hair section, you might end up not having a long-lasting uh, curl because the heat will be only on the surface of the hair and it will not reach the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the hair around the barrel and I'm holding the ends I don't want to curl the ends because that will make it a little bit more classy so with my other finger I'm feeling 
if the hair is getting too hot and then I'm releasing it. And as you can see, this might have taken less than six, seven seconds. Try to leave it as it is so it can cool off and this will give the, the wave um, a maximum hold. So moving on to the next section, all the hair sections go in the same direction, away from my face. I'm curling everything away from my face. And with my middle finger, I'm feeling if the hair is getting too hot. I'm releasing it. I'm just leaving it as it is. I'm not using hairspray, I'm just leaving the curl alone so it can set. So it can cool off. I have a good amount of hair, but I'm only using three hair, hair sections. So the bigger the hair section, the looser the wave will be. Now, if you're not so handy with the curling iron, you can use gloves to make sure you don't burn your fingers. Um, I did in the past. I burnt my hand really badly because I wasn't paying attention. So make sure to pay good attention or wear these amazing gloves. Okay, so we're moving on to the last part. And I'm grabbing a medium hair section. And if you have these annoying baby hairs, just be careful while doing this. You can slowly slide the hot iron against it. This will make the baby hairs really soft and really flat. So if you have those curly hair, baby hair, you can definitely do this, but be careful not to burn your forehead. I did that a while ago. I love that this hairstyle doesn't take too much time and even if you're in a hurry, all you have to do is just split the hair in half and then work your way through. This doesn't have to be perfect really. I cannot tell you exactly how long you should keep the hair section around the barrel. This depends on the tool you're using. I'm always feeling with my finger and when the hair gets too hot, I'm releasing it. That's it. I don't want to end up damaging the hair. It's not worth it really. And the last hair section. So as you can see, it's all perfectly curled. I'm gonna leave it to set and to cool off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I already showed you guys this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish off with the other side and I'm gonna get back to you guys after this. Okay, so I just did this part and now I am almost done. I just need to do the top section. As you can see, I have shorter layers here on top and I also have my annoying bangs, uh, my annoying fringe, which is already getting longer, but still it's really short comparing to the rest of my hair. So I don't want, if I would curl this the same way as I did with a longer hair section, it will be really curly and it will like it will be really curly and it will not get it, it will not be very flowy with the rest of the hair so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a hair section and i'm not gonna put the barrel all the way against the roots i'm gonna skip this part because i want it to be as long as possible because if i would start at the root it will be really curly and it will be focused around here and we don't want that so if you have shorter layers or if you have a short fringe this is something you need to pay attention to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give the end a little twist. As you can see, I'm just grabbing the ends, that's all. Couple of seconds and I'm let it go. So as you can see, it's really flat here on top and only the ends are a little bit curly. The same thing with the next hair section and I'm getting really close to the fringe so just the ends and I'm letting go now here comes the tricky part the fringe the best thing you can do is just twist this to the back away from the face away from the forehead 
So I'm gonna do that and I'm keep it really shortly around the barrel because I don't want it to curl it all the way. I just want it to have a little bit of wave and then I'm releasing it. As you can see, it happens so fast because the hair is shorter, the barrel is really hot. So really be careful when it comes to the fringe, especially because it's on the forehead and the hair around your forehead um, the hair around your face is really fragile. It's thinner than the usual than the rest of the hair Okay, I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna start with this part because this has already cooled off and I'm gonna leave this alone so it can cool off and um, And this will set the curl perfect in place. Okay, so before brushing the hair I'm gonna use a small amount of hairspray. This hairspray gives a lot of shine and this is something I really need I don't want the hair to get too stiff. This is a natural flowy look. So keep a good distance when spraying That's all That's all you need it smells really good. I just spray it in my direction. So I'm not gonna even section the hair off. I'm just gonna I'm just going ahead and I'm gonna brush the hair. And this is exactly what I wanted. See, it's not it's a really soft, flowy, wavy look. And I'm gonna take my time to brush this off because this is the most important process. Um, the more you brush off, the softer the look will get. Now, if you have thin hair or if you have um, less hair than I do, make sure not to use too much product and not to brush too much. Don't brush too much because eventually you'll end up, you know, losing the curl. So the best thing you can do is using your fingers. So spray a small amount of hairspray and then run your fingers through your hair a couple of times and that's it. and the spray gives a good shine to the hair. And that's really important if you have dull looking hair. And I'm happy we let the ends out because as you can see, if I would curl it, it will be a little bit more of a classic Hollywood look and I want it to be a little bit flowy. Now, I'm moving on and I'm gonna use my fingers to finish this look off. I want it to be less classic looking, so I'm trying to separate the hairs I recently cut my hair so it looks a little bit shorter for me I'm sure you guys won't see it or maybe you do but every time I go to the hairdresser and I cut like what this one centimeter off I obviously can see it, especially if you have um, long hair but I'm really happy because it looks healthy and I love that so it's important to keep cutting your hair every now and then I do it every 10 weeks for those who wanted to know. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna finish off with hairspray when the entire hair is brushed off. So I'm moving to the other side and I'm doing the same thing. I'm starting at the ends because this is the last section that I curl. So I'm gonna leave it to cool off. So I'm doing the ends first. and then work my way up. And this is exactly what I mean. You see my short layers are blending away with the rest of the hair. You, will not, you don't even see that I have shorter layers and that's really important when you have this look. Um, you don't want to see the shorter layers sitting on the top of the head and then the rest of the hair hanging. It's really important to keep it really flowy and everything needs to match with the rest of the hair. That's why I only curled the ends and I didn't come near the roots. And even my bangs are flowing away with the rest of the hair. I forgot to put hairspray before brushing it, but that's okay. You can put it afterwards as well. And with my fingers, I'm separating everything. So with my fingers, I'm lifting the hair up and I'm shaking the hair. Again, if you have thin hair, skip this part because the more you touch your hair, the looser the curl will get and eventually it will go straight. So 
only if you have a good amount of hair or if you're wearing extensions, you can do this. Lift the hair up and shake it. Lift the hair up and shake it. Now, if you want more volume, um, you can always tease the hair. I know a lot of you are afraid for teasing the hair, but there's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. Um, just make sure you brush it out gently. The damaging, the most damaging part about teasing the hair isn't teasing it, it's brushing it out. So you can tease all you want, just be gentle and take your time while doing this. But when you brush it out, you need to be very careful. So take your time and use a good brush and brush it out starting at the end and then going up, going up to the roots. So the look that I created um, last week was more of a bridal look. So obviously I brushed everything perfect in place, but I wanted to go for the looser look today. So in the beginning, a couple of minutes ago, you saw me when I brushed the hair, it was perfectly wavy in place. If you wanna go for this look, that's fine. You can just add a little bit of hairspray and then go for it. And you can skip the part where I, you know, run my fingers through my hair or shake it because this will make it a little bit wild and um, looser. So it all depends which look you're going for. I wanted to include this um, because I use the same technique as I used in the bridal look, but I wanted to have a playful results and I think we are done what do you guys think I love that it's so natural it's not so flowy it's, it's so natural it's flowy and I can enjoy this for at least two days I just want to mention something um, and this is a side note because many of you are asking me about how is it possible that I have healthy hair despite the fact that I use so many heating tools to be honest with you and I have to reveal this I don't do a lot of I don't use a lot of heating tools except my blow dryer or a diffuser when I curl my hair um, this is something I do not wear on a daily basis I did it today and I'm gonna wash my hair in like three days from today so I try, if I would go for a look like this one, I don't do it every day. I don't do it twice a week because this will definitely damage my hair. So I try to stay away from heating tools as much as possible, straightening irons, curling irons. I don't do that. I just love when I blow dry my hair and if I decided on the third day or the second day to go for a more of a wavy look, that's fine. But I try to do this only once a month um, or, you know, or two, twice a month because uh, my hair is dry already and using too much heating tools will make it worse. So this look is fun and it's beautiful, but I don't do this really often. I just try to do this on special occasions or when I feel like, you know what, let's change something. Um, so this is something that many of you think I blow dry my hair every single day. I only do this once a week. So it's one day the blow dryer and the second time it's the diffuser. So if you think about it, I actually only use the heat once a week. So that's why my hair is healthy. That's why it's, it, it doesn't look really damaged. Um, so let's get this straight for those who were wondering how come my hair is good looking while I'm using so much heat. When I'm not, I'm just using it once a week. Okay, I think we're done. What do you guys think? I really love this look. You should definitely give it a try. Um, if you have shorter hair than me, it will be so sexy. It will be really beautiful um, because I've seen a lot of girls who have this wavy look and then with shorter hair. And if you have thin hair, just use smaller hair sections. Be, caref be careful with the heat. Um, don't try to brush it out too much and use hairspray. Run your fingers through the hair and then let it go. Um, now many of you want to know how I make sure that it looks beautiful the next day. I sleep on a satin pillow so the hair slides, it doesn't damage the hair and doesn't ruin the hairstyle so that helps a lot and obviously my hair will look different tomorrow but that's okay. I always try to work with what I have. Um, so if the hair is a little bit looser tomorrow maybe I will put it up in a ponytail but I will definitely not run 
the curling iron through my hair again. Um, I refuse to do this. I just love to work with what I have because I think it's important to look beautiful, but it's more important to have healthy hair. So I try to, um, to stay away from the heat. Okay, so let me know if you try this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm trying to make more of this really quick, easy hairstyle. So if you have any ideas or requests, uh, make sure to comment below. I always read um, the comments. I don't always reply, but I always keep it in mind because you guys requested this and that's why I decided to do it. Um, so give this tutorial also a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I really hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Mwah. Bye.